Welcome back. Well, the Crawford County Museum has a full slate for March in Tim Field. The director of the museum is here to share what you can expect for this month. Welcome, Tim. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us here today on this Wednesday. Can you talk to me a little bit about the Southeast Kansas Museum Alliance Passport Program going on at the museum? Absolutely. The uh, passport program is part of the uh, Kansas Southeast Kansas Museum Alliance. There are 49 museums okay. in wow. the Alliance. Uh, the passport is free to anyone that wants to come in the museum and pick one up. And each page of the, muse of the passport highlights a museum in the area. Oh, wow. And there's also a map so you can schedule day trips okay. and hit all 49. Wonderful. So it's really encouraging um, people through all out Kansas to come and check out the different community museums. Yes, it does. Wonderful. And can you talk to me a little bit about um, what's featured for the Crawford County Museum in the passport? Uh, it, it gives a brief overview of the museum, talks about our Kansas history and local Crawford County and Pittsburgh history. Uh, but then it also gives the operating hours of the museum so that anybody can find out when we're open. Wonderful. And so can you talk to me a little bit about how you're hoping this, this drives in more folks to come in and, and check out your museum? Yes. Uh, we've also started a program this year with workshops and programs okay. at the museum. So this Saturday we're doing a beginning rug hooking workshop and there are still spots open on that if anybody wants to check it out. The week after that, we're demonstrating on a loom in the museum. It's okay, over yes. 200 years old. Oh, wow. And we're going to be weaving rugs like our ancestors did to recycle textiles. On the loom itself? Yes. Oh, yes. How, how is and that, is that open to the public for, yes. for classes? Uh, yes. Oh, wow, incredible, in. yeah. incredible. And then on the uh, 23rd, we have a program uh, on the poor farm from Crawford County. Uh, every county was required to have a poor farm, and it was for people who were uh, in tight circumstances financially. Okay, um, yes. And it's a part of our history that nobody really hears about anymore. Well, that is wonderful. And so are those all the events that are going on in, the, in this month, or do we have anything else going on? That's just this month. But wow. next month we have a big Cowboy Days program. Oh, too. that'll be exciting as well. Well, there sounds like you guys have a lot of interesting events going on this month, especially that loom one. That's so cool yeah. that you're allowing folks to come and use that. Um, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tim, Thanks for, for being me. here. Make sure you go check out the Crawford County Museum and all that they have going on in this month of March. We'll be right back.